Hi, it's Meredith, and I just wanted to hop on and do a healthy foods haul. Some things that I have bought today, yesterday, and past couple days, because I just got paid. Um, and if you regularly watch my channel, I didn't come on last week, and I'll talk more about that on Tuesday. I plan on doing a Tuesday video for my 40-week post post-op update um, because I'll weigh in for the first time since January so I wanted to have a number for for that one so anyway I just wanted to keep this one about foods that I've been loving foods that I found foods that I I just thought hey I got a lot of stuff I'll show it to you okay this I got quite a few at TJ Maxx, so that's funny. And this is one of the things that I got at TJ Maxx, and I already opened it. And I love it! Okay, organic cacao nibs. Um, they taste and have the consistency of, like, unsweetened chocolate chips, honestly. Like, the little tiny mini ones. And, like, you just put them in... I love to put them in um, a spinach smoothie that I've been making lately with almond milk, spinach, um, cacao powder, uh, peppermint extract, sweetener of choice, which is stevia, and these babies, and I blend it all up, and it's like eating a, or drinking a mint chocolate chip smoothie. It looks like swamp water because of the spinach in there, but so good and actually I just ordered more on Amazon today also because I freaking love these so anyway I am trying to switch my diet and everything that I buy um, I want to be try to be organic and as whole foods and good for you as possible so I am not going to be 100% um, accurate with that goal I realize but I am going to do my best and that's all I can do <clears throat> okay I just felt like picking up a butternut squash today I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but it looked delicious and I love butternut squash so. and I also don't know what I'm gonna do with this baby yet but it is a spaghetti squash and it just and I like spaghetti squash. There's so many things you can do with it. So just bake that sucker up and figure out what to do with it then. Hey, also don't know what I'm going to do with my apple cider vinegar. I know that I want to make some blue cheese dressing. Um, because I love blue cheese. And I can't find pre-made dressings that are good for you so um like well then I'll freaking make my own I've got some organic whole milk yogurt in there and I get some good apple cider vinegar and olive oil and blue cheese but the apple cider vinegar has lots of other qualities in it that would be good okay coconut milk I found a recipe from Cooking is Pun. It's coconut fluff. She puts protein powder and, um, she puts chocolate protein powder and cacao powder and, uh, I think that's it. And coconut cream and, uh, blended it all up into the coconut deliciousness that it becomes. So, um... I found, I got the coconut milk and I did, I had some chocolate protein powder and I put in some cocoa powder and, and I put in some chia seeds too and I blended it all up and I put it into little containers in the fridge and it turned into this thick, decadent, chocolatey delight. It's so good. Um, I'm out of chocolate protein powder now, and I'm actually trying to get rid of all my protein powders at the moment, but I've got other flavors that I'm anxious to try, but I've got this. I've got like a, a caramel latte protein powder. I've got 
um, just a salted caramel protein powder that I could put um, like coconut coconut uh, extract in and um, and some cacao powder and make like a Samoa. I'm really excited. <laughs> I got some xanthan gum uh, just as a, as a thickener because I'm gonna try to make some protein ice cream. Also, a cooking is fun recipe. I've kind of been obsessed and binge watching her episodes. So she does a lot of low carb things, and um, and she's cute as a button. I've really been enjoying her stuff. Hope she doesn't think I'm a weird stalker because I'm following her on Instagram now and everything. But <laughs> I promise I'm not. I stalk other YouTubers too. <laughs> I just got a bag of lemons. They aren't organic, um, but I don't, I don't know. I just use the lemon juice part. I don't um, slice these up and put them in like water. If I do, um, I know they put wax on the non-organic um, lemons, but I've been drinking warm lemon juice in the mornings to help with my digestion issues. I think it's also been to making my teeth whiter because that's the only thing that I've changed. And I don't know. There's just lots of good things that drinking warm lemon water in the morning is good for. I started doing it to help with the digestion. So. <sighs> I found a gluten-free store in my tiny little town. And they're going out of business because the economy is super bad here right now. So the sad day, maybe I'll have to go in a couple more times before they close their doors. But I found these coconut aminos. Uh, it's a soy-free soy sauce thing. I saw other people had tried it, and so I thought, I want to try it too. And I really want to try to get wheat out of my diet entirely. So I don't really eat wheat as it is, but I noticed that some of the supplements that I was taking contain wheat. And so... Just trying to use everything up so that I can start living a more healthy lifestyle. I also bought some guar gum. Again, that's a thickener to make ice cream. And it's a thickener to make other things too. I've seen it in different recipes. I got some organic sloppy joe mix. Because I freaking love sloppy joes. <laughs> I got some... Uh, ranch dressing mix. I like to just sprinkle this on broccoli or carrots or what, what like cooked carrots and stuff like that. Uh, some taco seasoning, some fajita seasoning, and then I got some xylitol gum in cinnamon and fruit. And also <laughs> got some spearmint. But I also picked up some like trident today, so. Like I said, I'm not perfect. Even though it bothers me that I'm not perfect, I need to keep reminding myself that it's, it's okay. I figure if I make most of my food choices healthy and the best that they can be, that's a good thing, you know? All right. I found this at TJ Maxx, and um, I should have picked up they had two box, two of these boxes. Uh, maybe I'll go back and get the other one if it's still there. But um, I'm going to put some in my car and some in my desk at school. And uh, because they're just tiny little packs. And sometimes I find myself like really wanting to eat or needing to eat. Even I've found myself coming to that point and I don't have anything. And um, I can feel my blood sugar plummeting. It happens less at school. It happens more when I'm out and about. So I figure if I have some in my car, because I'm, like, usually in my car. And, um, you know, that this is, this is a good option. Like, they're already in a little pack. 100 calories isn't going to blow everything, even though I'm not sure I believe in calories anymore. <laughs> um or all the weight that we've been told that they hold. Uh, calories are important, but I don't know that they're as important as we've been led to believe because I don't believe that 100 calories in a cupcake is the same as 100 calories of uh, broccoli. Like, like, 
They're not the same. Calories in, calories out. I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, so, but at the same time, like, they've got 8 grams of fat and 5 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of protein. Like, it's not, if I have one or two, it's not going to completely throw everything off and it can save off poor decisions. Like, usually the poor decision I make is to not eat anything at all and then go way too long and get very, I get very shaky when my blood sugar starts to drop and I haven't eaten anything for a while. And that's just not good for your health. Okay. Even though I don't believe in cheat days, I'm going to have a high carb load day this month on Tuesday because I, because of reasons I don't want to go into right now. And while these aren't like, one hundred percent good for you, like you know, they are delicious and I like them and they were a dollar and I'm gonna have them on my high carb day on Tuesday. My one high carb day this month. Slash maybe Saturday will be a high carb day too because I'm going to Salt Lake, going to run a 10K. There's Whole Foods there and I've already decided that I want to try to find like some Halo Top ice cream or at least Arctic Zero, which I know Whole Foods sells Arctic Zero. So I was like, I'm getting ice cream. I'm running a freaking 10K. And um, so, so maybe there will be two high carb days this month, but... So maybe I'll eat some figs on Tuesday as well. I don't know. These were on clearance for $2.50, and all that's in them is figs. Oh, I love potassium sorbate. I like figs. I rarely eat fruit, so to have this every once in a while. I also ordered some organic prunes on of Amazon because I freaking love prunes, and... So to have dessert, like a sweet treat dessert every once in a while, a fig some prunes. <laughs> I'm so weird. Hey, found these um, as a snack. I don't know. 130 calories, 4 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, but 8 grams of fiber, and then 13 grams of protein. That's really good. The ingredients are soybeans and sea salt. They're not organic. But still, not Lay's potato chips. Everything's falling. Almost done. Just a couple more things. Found this on clearance. It's just the Himalayan salt. And some sunflower seeds that are unsalted and just, just sunflower seeds. So there we go. Uh, last thing, I got a free um, sample of some tea up bars. Pretty sure that's what this is that I'm about to open. <laughs> we'll all find out together. I should have gotten some scissors. Now you get to watch me. <laughs> While we're waiting, hey, we don't need that. I was going to say while we're waiting, I can talk about the artwork, which finally sleep vertically asked about. I just got an old copy of The Wizard of Oz that was missing pages and got some stencils from Joann's and paints and ta-da! The flowers on this guy uh, are stencils, but I just kind of did the tree and then I got these Martha Stewart bird stencils for these guys and used Mod Podge and canvas and that's it! Okay, so maybe I'll do like a test video. I don't know.
I'm actually trying to get away from buying protein bars. But I ordered these before I made that decision. So I'm going to have these on Tuesday. And maybe I'll do a, a video where I live test them. But there we go. They're like Quest bars, but they are. I've tried some of the BF stuff before, and I like Quest bars better. But I thought, you know, these were free. <laughs> I didn't hate them. So, and uh, this is different. I have not tried this one. Somebody I watched to their video, and they really enjoyed the jamming one. Much better. Man, this video is long. Thanks for sticking with me if you did. And, um,. Natalie, knew me, Natalie, Natalie tagged me in a 10 things you didn't know about me video. I hope to make that tonight, uh, but I actually have to like write it out. I can't just ramble through. Well, I can, but I'd like to be more efficient. So I plan on making that video tonight if I can. Peace out.